Hi guys. Today we're going to be doing a review on ELF Studios Pressed Powder. I had a request to do a review on this, so let's get started. Um, sorry for my voice. I've been sick. I have the flu. But we'll just start off with what it looks like. This is the ELF Pressed Powder. And the color I have it in is sand. And you just kind of open it like this. And it has a mirror up there and it has the actual powder and when it comes it has a plastic thing over top of this and then you can flip this part down and there is a poofy sponge thing underneath and it says elf on it um, I don't use that but it is down there so that's kinda what it looks like it has a sleek black packaging really nice and um, this costs uh, $3 on eyeslipsface.com and I'll put a link in the sidebar for you and I'll put a link in the sidebar uh, for a website that you can get some really good coupon codes too. But overall, I've only used this a couple times but I was requested to do a review so I'm kind of going to do like a review comparison thing but um, just the initially rubbing my finger over it, it's soft, but it is, um, I would call it chalky. I would. Um, but I am going to compare this to the powders that I normally use, the pressed powders. And typically I use pressed powders kind of as a setting powder, and then I use an HD powder over top my blush and bronzers and everything. So, the powders, pressed powders I typically use are um, the one from CoverGirl and you can tell I use this one quite a bit um, and then this one is from Wet n Wild Natural Wear and it looks like this um, the only thing about this is it's come out like this but um, that shows you kinda how much product you're gonna get with this one and then here is what you get with the e.l.f. And I think they are very similar in how much you get. This one's a little wider, but this one's a little longer. So these two, in comparison of how much you get, is good because they're both about three dollars. Um, but in comparison to the Cover Girl, the Cover Girl pan does go that thick compared to the e.l.f. pan, which is quite thin. hope you can kind of see what I'm talking about. Um, so you get almost double the product, and this is about $6. So really, as far as price-wise, all these powders are going to run you the same amount. Now, the CoverGirl powder, when I run my fingers over it, it's not chalky. It is smooth, but it feels a little like, like a creamy powder even though it's not a liquid to powder or anything like that. But, um, and then the Wet n Wild is a little bit more on the uh, chalky side, but the e.l.f. out of all three of them is the chalkiest. It's the most dry. It is not very long-lasting. I find that their Dollar Line powder is a little bit better lasting than this one. Um... My light is washing this out a bit, but that really is the color. Um, this is the color sand. But the application of it is a bit messy, I think. I'm going to get a brush here. Just a powder brush. And we're just going to dip into that a little bit. Like that. And the brush picks up a lot of it, but I do find it... I can't even show you because it's going to fall all over my keyboard, but it's a bit messy. And then, as far as application goes, um, when I swirl it around, I don't know if you could see that, but a bunch of the powder flies up and not much really gets on my skin. Um, but I also find that with the Wet n Wild, I can't use a powder brush either. I actually have to use this little sponge that comes with it, and I really don't like sponges. But with the Wet n Wild, 
I have to use the sponge, which I think is kind of gross. But the powder was the right color for me, and I have no complaints for the price. And then with this one, I can use a powder brush, but it is just as messy as the e.l.f. Studio. And the e.l.f. Dollar Line is way, way more messy than this one. You're going to get to contain a lot more of your product with the Studio Line than the Dollar Line. Um, so as far as, I mean, the packaging looks great, but you can see that on the website. The uh, application process is a little messy, probably no more normal than a normal pressed powder. The, uh, the how long it will last, the durability of it, I suppose. What is less than average, I mean, you are going to have to reapply. This is something you're going to want to stick in your purse and probably use the, the little puff thing that it comes with for touch-ups. I haven't used it, as you can tell. Um, because it doesn't last very long. It is a bit chalky, and if you use a powder blush over top of this, I noticed I looked really, really cakey and powdery afterwards, even with my HD powder on top. This definitely made me look extremely powder-like. If you're going to use this, I would highly suggest a cream blush underneath, because this over top any other powder or underneath any other kind of powder probably would not look that great. But the powder is three dollars and it may work better for other skin types. Right now it's um, cold and almost winter time so my skin is dry so powders are not the greatest thing to be using er during the winter time. But this is something I am going to put back in my collection and try again in the summer when my skin is less dry and um, when I have a good day to try it out. So this is something, I mean it is three dollars. If you have a good coupon code you can get it for any percentage off. The coupon code I had when I bought it was 50 so I had it for, I got it for a dollar fifty. Um, I don't regret buying it. I just don't think it's a good product for the winter because it is so chalky. But if you have oily skin, this would probably make a great blotting powder. Um, but, I, and actually, I don't know if it would or not because it might end up um, layering over your skin and looking cakey again. So maybe you should, um, maybe a better alternative would be else blotting sheet. Those are just a dollar on the dollar line. But if you were thinking about trying this out and you have dry skin, I would definitely not recommend it because it is so chalky. Um, I don't know if I can even show you. Um, like That's that. And when I put it on, like, yeah, you're not going to be able to see it because... The pigmentation isn't even that great. Like, I have to apply a lot to get any color. Um, so, I was asked to do a review, and that's my review. I'm not crazy about it, but I don't regret the purchase. It's not something I'm going to be rebuying. If I feel any differently in the future, in a different um, season, with when my skin is acting a little bit differently, I will update this review and let you know. But that is my review for now. It is something that I would only purchase with a coupon code and just try at your own risk. So if you guys need any more reviews on anything else, especially from e.l.f. because I have a lot of their products, um, just let me know. And thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you guys later. Bye.